Hey guys, and welcome back to another OBD Mastery video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the dreaded P1280 code on a 7.3 Power Stroke Ford. Now, this is a pretty common code. It's very popular across all 7.3s. This is just your ICP, but we're going to talk about the causes, all right, the symptoms, possible culprits, and also tell you one fact, all right, that will pretty much help, I know, most of you guys out. Um, this is just very popular and um, people have just been deceived due to this fact, but let's just get into it. The introduction of the P1280 code, if you don't know what it is, it's basically an ICP sensor problem, all right? Um, it's a, you know, diagnostic trouble code from your OBD2. Um, basically, it's just the ICP sensor in your 7.3 PowerStroke engine. Now, this code is critical as it affects the performance and efficiency of your truck, so you will get a rough idling, poor acceleration, and increased emissions. So if you're struggling with these issues where your acceleration pedal, you're giving it all, it's not getting enough power, then this is a root cause of your ICP. But make sure you address the P1280 code promptly, all right, so you guys don't prevent any, uh, or so you guys can prevent further damage to your engine. But basically, let's go ahead and start off with the symptoms of this. Now, check engine light is just one of the most common ones, all right? You're gonna get the illuminated check engine light on your cluster. Um, but the second one is gonna be the surge on startup. Now, this is very important to note. Now, when you start up the engine, there's gonna be a noticeable surge. Um, so indicating a potential issue with the injection system. Um, be aware of that, make sure you note that down, all right? Possible causes of, you know, or the symptoms of it, but sluggish driving experience, all right? Um, your vehicle just may exhibit a sluggish or unresponsive driving experience, affecting overall performance. Moving on, the other ICP-related issues um, could be just this, you know, poor connection uh, for electrical or a malfunctioning ICP sensor itself. Now, the causes of a P1280 code, and we're also going to be talking about the fact. Um, so, first and foremost, let's talk about the... Uh, causes of this and then i'll lead you guys to another fact that uh could help you guys out tons so faulty icp sensor uh just a malfunction icp sensor um, is the most common cause of this all right uh leading to incorrect pressure readings now the second one's going to be the poor electrical connection now make sure that you know issues such as damage wiring corrosion or loose connectors um you know Make sure that you don't have any of that, all right? Because this can disrupt the signal to the PCM, um, triggering this OBDT uh, code, right? But, but basically, um, the next up is the faulty powertrain control module. Um, in rare cases, a malfunctioning PCM can misinterpret signals from the ICP sensor, resulting in the P1280 code being set. Now, the other culprit is um, oil contamination. So. Um, the ICP scenes, I see, oh my God, sorry about that. Uh, the ICP sensor connector can cause electrical interference leading to an erroneous reading at the P1280 code. Now, a lot of people get these um, causes of this. Basically, I'm gonna run you guys down, all right? If you have bought any parts from maybe eBay or a third party supplier, all right, they're not known, they're not OEM, um, you could have been sold a Chinese part. So this will basically give you an inaccurate reading on your pressure reading. So uh, make sure you do a pressure reading. You can do this by, you know, um, getting force scan, all right, connecting force scan from a computer to your OBD2 port and basically checking all of that, making sure that the pressure reading on the ICP is accurate. Um, if it's lower than usual, you might have been sold a fake part. Um, I know there's a lot of fake eBay um, people on there. They claim to sell real motorcraft. They sell absolutely garbage. It's not OEM. So be aware of that, all right? Make sure you're buying from the dealer. There's also reputable places. Um, one of those places being Riff Raff Diesel. That is one of the best places where I usually get the parts from. So just be aware of that, all right? Buy the real stuff. Don't buy no cheap parts to you know save money, all right? Very important. There are parts that will last, all right? They are cheap, but you're not just, you know, guaranteed that longevity of the actual um, sensor itself. So just be aware of that. Buying parts in general um, for a diesel, at least, you don't want to buy it on, you know, these third party websites and all of that. So hopefully that helps you out, all right? If you have bought one, check it right away, do the test, 
we'll teach you how to do the test. So troubleshooting, all right, you're basically just going to want to check the ICP sensor. Um, it's right on the driver's side near the HPOP, which is the high pressure oil pump. Now disconnect and inspect for oil contamination. Check all of that, all right. If present, replace the sensor. Now inspecting connections. Check the wireness, uh, wiring harness and connectors for damage, corrosion, or loose connections. Ensure connections to the ICP sensor are secure and clean. Now you're going to want to measure the voltage, all right. Um, this is a little guide here that we have, but use a multimeter to check the voltage at the ICP sensor connector. Look for about four and a half to five and a half volts between pin B and ground. Now measure between pin A and B. The reading should be also four and a half to 5.5 volts. You're also going to want to check the resistance. So measure the resistance between pin C and test pin 87 on the PCM pin B and test pin 90 and then pin A and test pin 91. Now resistance should be um, 5 ohms. If faulty, replace the ICP sensor with an OEM part. Very important like I've mentioned already because third party or any eBay claiming to be motorcraft are not genuine motorcraft. So test that out. All right. You could, you know, kind of uh, get your old ICP and kind of, you know, check the um, the quality of the part compared to the old one you had and the fake eBay one. You could see the resemblance there. But the conclusion and the next steps of this P1280 code, um, you're basically just going to want to make sure that it is addressed as early as possible. Um, don't run the truck. Basically, um, just usually this is just basic stuff, but just, you know, common symptoms just going to be the check engine light. Um, surging and all of that remember if you don't feel comfortable enough to take this job on yourself um, consider reaching out to a professional to seek help for this um, they'll you know troubleshoot it probably a lot better and a lot quicker than you would but um, professional assistance is recommended if the problem persists or if you're not comfortable performing the diagnostic and repair steps yourself so that's been it for today's video that is understanding or tackling on the p1280 code the dreaded code on a 73 power stroke of 1999 to 2003 thank you guys for watching today's video on the obd mastery youtube channel now if you found this video helpful please consider leaving a like comment down below if it did help you out and if it did thank you guys so much all right um i look forward for you guys to check out some of my other videos till then i'll see you all until next time